Hi everyone, welcome back to Simple Things. Today we'll be looking at... Christmas just wouldn't be complete without fruit cake, sorrel, eggnog, Santa Claus, and presents under a Christmas tree, right? But just where did this idea of a Christmas tree come from? It is commonly held that the reformer Martin Luther was the originator of the Christmas tree. On his way home on a wintry night, he was fascinated by the way the stars shone between the evergreen trees that lined his path. In an effort to have his family experience this joy, he erected a tree in his house and decorated it with the candles. As exciting as this popular story sounds, no proof of its authenticity exists. Many of the traditions we hold dear today, even in Christian circles, predates the Christian era. Shockingly, many of the traditions associated with December 25 also predates the Christian era. You see, friends, evergreen plants and trees were held dear to many cultures and religions across the globe in winter. In ancient times, the Egyptians, Romans, and Druids, for instance, believed that evergreens would keep away witches, ghosts, evil spirits, and illness. In Egypt, it was felt that the Egyptian sun god, Ra, began to recover from his illness during the winter solstice. Now, this winter solstice, simply put, is the shortest day of the year, which falls on December 21 or 22 throughout history. Egyptians would traditionally hang evergreens in their homes, symbolizing the triumph of life over death and the new life to come in the spring. For the Romans, the winter solstice was also of extreme importance. According to History.com, and I quote, Early Romans marked the solstice with a feast called Saturnalia in honor of Saturn, the god of agriculture. This was celebrated annually December 17 to 24. The Romans knew that the solstice meant that soon farms and orchards would be green and fruitful. To mark the occasion, they decorated their homes and temples with evergreen boughs." End of quote. The Celtic priests, the Druids of Northern Europe, also decorated their temples with evergreen boughs as a symbol of everlasting life. So then, as with every topic on this channel, you may be wondering, how does all this connect with anything in the Bible? In chapter 10 of the book of Jeremiah, we read, Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. Jeremiah makes it clear that the heathen nations of the time were into the practice of fashioning gods from trees. Could it be that this is where this tradition came from? What are your facts-based thoughts? As I always say, friends, please do your own research on the topic and feel free to revisit this video and leave a comment below. In order to do so, though, you must subscribe if you haven't yet done so.